Hello, hello. I am Tamika Maribel King. This is Seeker Talks. So, 2018. One thing that I believe is definitely vital and sure to get you through this year is going to be prayer. Um, Prayer does a whole lot for a whole lot of people. The one thing it does is build your faith. So if you are one who doesn't really pray and you know you struggle in the department of faith, if you were to exercise your muscles of faith, you know, using your spiritual muscles, you can increase it through prayer. And so, you know, like I said on Sunday, things are made stronger through repetition. So if you are praying more, then your faith will increase based on that and we know that when we pray for things we receive them according to our faith so if you're believing small you know okay if you are expecting all outside of the box you know anything that is in the will of God can be given to us as long as we believe but it has to be in his will it can't be that you know It's something that he's telling us we can't have, yet we continue to pray year after year after year for that thing or for that person. And he has made it clear, you know, that's not what you need or that's not who you need. And I hope y'all can see me pretty good. Um, Then, you know, I think that me and my husband, we pray together almost every day we try to pray together daily and we alternate who prays so you know one morning I pray the next morning he prays that is really really strengthened not only our marriage but our relationships with God together and individually you know I think prayer mm, prayer doesn't necessarily have to be that you have your head bowed and your eyes are closed either you know my husband praise every morning on his way to work and y'all know he ain't driving with his eyes closed so you know i'm telling you whatever it is or whenever you can simply find time to pray and communicate with god about the things that you want to grow into doing and being and who he needs you to be you know i need answers and i need help and you know i'm like god okay i can't do this i need you And I need to constantly communicate with you in order to figure it out, in order to understand what he's trying to tell me. So, you know, I have a four-year-old who will not go to sleep at night without saying, mommy, pray for me. And I pray with her every single night. She eat, and she also, y'all, she knows how to pray herself. My niece is, she is awesome, you know. Prayer is taught, it's learned, and don't hesitate to pray with your spouse, with your children, out loud. When you're by yourself, you pray out loud. Don't be ashamed. Don't be fearful. And the more you hear yourself pray, the more comfortable and more confident you'll be in your ability to do so. Um... It really, really helps us and heals. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. prayer changes things. It changes relationships. It changes out the outcome of many, many things. So, I, I mean, you know, We just have to expand our thought process as it relates to prayer and to not put it in a box and think that, you know, the only time people can pray is if they are kneeling down, um, eyes closed, head bowed. Yes, that's perfect. And that's great for you to do. But also there are times throughout the day that I really have said, Lord, please help me. You know, God, I need you right now, depending on the situation, the circumstances. If I'm needing him, I can I can shoot up a little prayer. If I encounter someone who is dealing with something and they make me aware of that, I send up a little prayer right then. And, you know, sometimes you just mention someone's name when they come to your mind so that God will know they're on your mind and on your heart. And that's like a little prayer for them. 
prayer is big. I don't miss a day without praying. I don't miss a day without communicating with God. And in 2018, I want to increase my prayer life. I want to increase the level of communication that I have with God because it is my desire to be everything he needs me to be in entirety. And so I don't think without that vital part of our spiritual journey, would we accomplish things if we lack it? So we need it. You know, um, that's it. We just need it. You, you need to pray. You really do. And you need to spend more time doing it with each other, by yourself. Whew. And you know, I'm praying for you. Do what you do best. That is being you. Happy New Year, guys. I will see you live Thursday. I love you. Like, comment, and share, please. Thank you.